What's up everybody? We've got some new ammo here for the 10 millimeter. Let's check it out. So I don't know if you guys know this ammo, but I think it's a new ammo out there on the market. It's 1776 USA, made in USA. It's a lead-free sporting ammunition, 10 millimeter, 125 grain, and 1,350 feet per second. And we're gonna do some tests today. So just a quick review about it. I got a chronograph recently. So we're gonna check if it actually is 1,350 feet per second. And we'll see how it feels shooting it. If we get any crazy malfunctions and uh, you know, maybe how the recoil is in a little bit. So first things first, got it loaded up here. We got the chronograph going there and make sure I don't shoot my camera. 1281, it says it's supposed to be 1350. 1296. 1290, 1278. So we've been under 1300 for a while here. 1246, I have not been calling the other ones, but I do have the app here at least to uh, track it for me. Error. 1294. 1285, 1256, 1290, 1279. All right, power factor. I don't know, can it do the average here? We'll do the average here and give that to you a little bit, but never did we ever get over 1296 or 1350. So I guess that's what you expect out of ammunition. You never get what the advertised velocity is. All right, now with that said, let's go ahead and try and do the Mantis X10 to see what the recoil is. I did not think it was that bad, to be honest, but we might as well check it. All right, we got the recoil meter, and we might as well just keep doing the uh, velocity test, see if we can get a really good, accurate uh, average here. So, 1290 on the uh, chronograph, and we got 19, okay, we got the Mantis working here at least. 1283. I'm just always double checking the mantis because sometimes it doesn't register. 1286. 1301. We broke the 1300 feet per second finally after shooting 20 rounds or so. 1279. 1298. 1315, wow, okay. Twelve ninety. Okay, guys. At least a couple of times we broke the thirteen hundred feet per second. We still never got to thirteen fifty feet per second. So average muzzle rise, we're about seventeen point nine one. So that actually felt like pretty soft ammunition there. I think with seventeen point nine one average muzzle rise, the I think it's actually pretty good target ammo to be honest. I mean, you're I think you're going to be pretty good, pretty happy with this, pretty good accurately and speed wise. If you wanted to do a little bit of training with that. Okay, the 1776 ammunition, I think you'll be really happy with, cause you know, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I'm happy with the velocity more or less, you know, I don't really care about it as for uh, target ammunition, but more importantly, that recoil wasn't too bad. It's 125 grains and it's lead free. The other good thing is that it's quite affordable. It's the cheapest one I found most recently. So if it's got all those added benefits as lead free and whatever, then, uh, and low recoil, why not buy more of it? So go ahead and try it out and uh, see what you guys think. If you guys have any comments, leave them in the comments section. And if you like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. And if you don't like it, hit that thumbs down button twice. <laughs>